So this video is going to be all about fixing any kind of connection issues you're having between your iPad and the internet. Let the download begin. So if you're finding the channel for the first time on this channel, we do support videos that teach you not only how to use the devices you currently own, but how to troubleshoot some of the biggest issues those devices may have. So if you enjoy videos like that, join our user support group movement by hitting that subscribe button down below, sharing your thoughts, comments, and any questions you have down below, hit that bell for notifications. So you know, when we release a new video and also while you're sharing, go ahead and share the video out because you never know who it can help. Let's get started troubleshooting internet connectivity issues with your iPad. Now this video is not specific to a specific iPad. It can work on any iPad that has been released. These are general tips on how to make sure you're getting the fastest internet speeds on your iPad. I know a lot of people use these things as their main device. Some people are eliminating laptops and just using these tablets as the way that they serve, consume media, and you want to make sure that experience is as fluid and as perfect as possible and any kind of connectivity issues can really get in the way of using these iPads to their full potential. So let's troubleshoot that now. You want to make sure that you're getting a good connectivity from your router to begin with. Your connection here and your connection at work could be the issue and not the iPad itself. One of the easiest ways to check that is to do a quick speed test on the network that you're currently on. And this can kind of eliminate if the iPad is causing the issue or the network itself is causing the issue. By running a speed test, you can check the current speed of the network you're currently connected to and kind of compare it to the speeds that you're experiencing in a different network. So if you're getting a faster speed at home, but at work your speed is kind of slow and lackluster, then you know it's not the iPad itself, but the network that the iPad is connected to at work. There's probably not much you can do about that, but if your speeds are slower at home, there is a couple of things you can do to kind of address that. So if you're running a speed test and the speeds are slower in your home, you may want to take a look at your router. Your router is kind of your gateway to connect to the internet and that thing can sometimes slow devices down that are connecting to it. So one of the easiest ways to kind of check is actually to initiate a reset on the router itself. By resetting the router, you're resetting all those connections, it's eliminating all the items that are currently connected to the router and any old items or stagnant items that are connected will be disconnected and all the recent and active items will then reconnect to the router and that can sometimes help increase your network connectivity and also increase your overall internet speed. So if your router has been reset and it's working the way that it's supposed to and you're still having some internet issues, a couple of things you can try on the iPad itself is going into the settings of the iPad and from your settings you're going to have your Wi-Fi section and in the Wi-Fi section, you would just click on your Wi-Fi connection. And from there you can hit forget that particular connection. What the iPad does is whenever you're connected to a specific Wi-Fi setting, it saves that information. So it makes it easier to auto connect whenever you're close to that internet connection once more. So having it forget that internet connection and reestablishing it kind of refreshes all the information that the iPad has stored. And that can sometimes help with making sure your connectivity is where it needs to be. So another thing you can check is a lot of routers have two different types of internet connections. There's a 2.4 gigahertz connection and there's a five gigahertz connection. So there are a lot of devices that work in your home that connect to the internet, connect via that 2.4 gigahertz version. So if there are a lot of devices connecting into that one particular connection, it can also add to the slowdown of any device that's currently trying to access the internet. So I know a lot of iPads support a five gigahertz connection. So you may want to try switching it over as well to that five gigahertz connection to see if your speeds increase a lot. There is a bonus because there are not a lot of devices that are five gigahertz that are connecting to that particular connection. You also want to make sure that your device is closer to the router because that five gigahertz connection has a smaller space in which it allows you to be away from the router. So you want to make sure you're in a pretty good distance from your router or wireless access point. But that's also something you can try switching from 2.4 to 5 and they're usually labeled as such when you're trying to connect in your Wi-Fi settings. You also want to make sure that you're closing out any applications that are currently open and testing that to see if that improves your internet speed. So the way you would do this is any applications that you normally use or keep running in the background, test your internet speed 
close out one of those applications and test your speed again. Believe it or not, some applications can interfere in your internet speed either because it's trying to pull down data into that particular application in the background. A lot of these apps update or a lot of these apps maintain a steady internet connection in order to update data continuously. That can cause your internet to run a little bit slower on the iPad because it's basically sharing the connection between what you're trying to do and what the application is trying to do. So if you do run a lot of labor intensive apps, you may want to try closing them out, running your connection speed to see if it improves. If it does, then you have an idea that that particular application can't be open when you want the best performance on your iPad. You may just want to close it out until you're ready to use it once more. And the next tip I'm going to give is, believe it or not, one of the most useful tips that no one ever does for some weird reason. And again, I work in, in tech support for so long and I am still shocked and surprised by how often people don't realize that this particular tip can fix so many different issues you have with your devices. And that tip is just reboot the device. Rebooting is a thing and it actually does help a ton with fixing connectivity issues. So one of the things you can do, simply just restart your iPad, power it off for a couple of seconds, leave it off for a couple of seconds, let it drain out all the information that's currently in the iPad, then restart it up, have it reboot up and have it reestablish those connections. Restarting your iPad on a consistent basis, probably like once a week, or just when you're having the connectivity issue can go a long way in fixing any kind of problems that your iPad is having. Now, if you go into your settings and you go into general and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a reset option there. If you hit that reset option, you get a lot of different reset options that pop up on screen. And one of those options is going to be to reset your network settings. So this is kind of one of your last resorts you can go to because resetting your network settings kind of wipes everything out of the iPad completely. Any network setting, any information that's currently stored in the iPad is going to be wiped the cache is going to be completely wiped. You're going to have to reestablish all those connections once more. That's why I kind of left it until the end because it's kind of that new clear option that you want to throw at if it's not working. Go ahead and reset the network settings. Try to reestablish the connection and then run your speed test once more to see if that helps. Again, this is kind of just wiping the slate clean, getting you reconnected, getting the iPad some fresh information, a fresh connection, and that can also help speed up any kind of connection issues that you're currently having. Now, the next one is really just an add on and you want to make sure you're at the most current updated iOS versions. I've mentioned this in other videos before, making sure that your iPad or any device that you have is as updated as possible is very important, not only for for security, but also for performance. Companies like Apple, they roll out different fixes to problems that people are having in these updates. So if people are having connection issues or people are having issues with their iPad speed wise connecting to the internet, and it's something that they can fix via software, they're rolled out in different iOS updates. So if you're one or two iOS updates behind, there may be a fix included in the ones that you're missing that addresses the exact problem that you're having. Believe it, you're not the only person having connection issues with your iPad. Apple usually hears about these problems through their forums and people bringing it into their stores and through their tech support. So they're definitely aware that connection issues are a problem, especially if they're a widespread problem and they work on these fixes in their software and they roll it out in their iOS updates. So you want to make sure your device is always as updated as possible. That way it's always addressing the latest issues that are attacking your iPad. And that could very well be a connection issue that you're experiencing. Update your iPad. And now if you're using Safari, there's actually a really cool thing you can do that may be causing a slowdown when you're accessing websites. You can clear out the internet cache and all the website data. That actually goes a long way in making sure that the browser speeds up a little bit. It has to recache the information when you first go to the site, but then you'll start seeing it speed up, especially if some of that old cache information is either corrupted or bad. This again is that clean slate idea. Once you wipe it clean, it then reestablishes the connection and moves a little bit quicker. It's really simple to clear the cache and then the data out of Safari. You're going to go into your settings. You scroll down, you go to Safari itself, you click on that. And in that option, you have the clear cache option. Make sure Safari is closed out first. It's not really a requirement, but I like to make sure the browser is closed out. 
clear the cache and then relaunch the browser so it can establish that connection over again. It's again, just a pet peeve of mine. You can definitely clear it while it's open, but I would still suggest clearing the cache of Safari, then checking again your internet speed. And it's just maintaining an idea of what your speed should be as well. Because if you're expecting your speed to be here, but it's here, but it's here consistently across all your devices, maybe this is your internet speed and this is what you wish your internet speed was. So kind of have a reasonable or realistic idea of what your internet connection speed is, have a realistic idea of what fast is on the iPad. That way you're not too disappointed and you're not trying to get something that's unattainable. So hopefully some of these tips will help you get started troubleshooting any kind of connection issues you have with your iPad. Again, it'll work across the board on any of the iPads that you have or are planning to buy. So you can always refer back to this video if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, or if you have a troubleshooting step that I didn't share in this video that worked for you, go ahead and share that in the comment section below this video. And again, if you have any questions, share those as well. I'd be more than happy to answer that. Go ahead and check out some of the other support videos we have on the channel. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Join our user support group movement by subscribing to this channel, sharing out the video. It may help somebody that's in need. And until next time, peace.